Toronto, and I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio. And in a few minutes, we will be again with the answer to teach you how to make a caipirinha here. He's the owner of Café do Bom and Cachaça da Boa. And today we'll be talking about caipirinha making and cachaça from Brazil. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Eu vou começar a cumprimentar as pessoas. Okay. E aí vou mostrar a loja. Né? E daqui a pouco eu faço uma caipirinha e vou mostrar você fazendo. Tá bom. Ok? Eu vou armar ali um lugar para fazer uma caipirinha legal. Massa. Obrigadão, querido. Hi everyone, who is there? How many people are present? Let me see, let me find a nice spot here so I can share some nice prints with you. It's filled with art, this place. And please let me know if the connection is good. Wherever I choose, just let me know, okay? Hi Paula, hi Elizabeth, Sarah. How are you doing? Let me have a seat here. How are you doing, guys and ladies? Isa, Paula. I'm going to take off my mask. The house here is empty because they are just opening the Café do Bom, Cachaça da Boa. The good coffee and the, from the good coffee, from the good cachaça. Isa, Paula, Miriam, thanks for joining again. Some of you already know the name. Hi, CD, Camilo, MK, Vasta. Wow. Many people from the U.S. there. Is there anyone from Canada today? Or anyone from Asia? Is there anyone from the West Indies on this platform? I never get good picture. Joe, do you think maybe it's your connection that is not working well? I was having that problem yesterday. Sayuri Koshima, tour guide in Salvador, Bahia. She was doing a photo tour and she invited me to do here in, in Rio as well. I'm going to plan that. And then she was trying to, she was showing beautiful paintings. And at a certain point, my connection dropped and it pixelated. It wasn't from her side. It was a problem from my side. So maybe if you uh, renew, reload, your your phone in a place where the connection is better you you get better pictures this is a nice venue to take some pictures it's an antique uh street and for some of you who had taken the antique queen through the lavradio and the city center tour here with me in rio uh, you see that we are at a historic part of the city where many there are many antique store hi nick thanks for joining uh, and with these antique stores, there are antiques fair in the 15th Square and in the Lavradio Street every Saturday. So I've done these tours like three or four times. Some of you uh, were there with me. It was super fun. And I'm here close to the same street of Lavradio, but at the street of Carioca Street. And there are also many historic buildings. But today I will not walk around. Uh, I will mostly focus on the Caipirinha on the cachaça, on the shop here, showing some of the arts and prints here. Well, again, I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide here, uh, leading live tours and live stream tours in the city, organizing groups, walking around to give cultural tours and also to promote experiences around coffee experiences, cachaça, black history walks, and I do all tours. Like, because I'm specialized in uh, visual arts and education. Ah, Vasta. Mm, that's, that's, that's weird. I, don't, I think it's from your side. Check maybe to, to make a new internet plan to, to uh, potentialize your signal there. I've had those issues with my old uh, internet, my previous internet. Just added some other data. And improve it a lot. 
ID, thanks for joining. And today we are here in the city center, Carioca Street, and at the shop Café do Bom Cachaça da Boa. So if you can see there, there is a glass, uh, I don't know how to say that, but glass cabinet where there are a few antiques and, um, and the historic buildings there. Yeah, so. Chita is there. Uh, he's, he works here for many years with Yancio, who will be uh, our specialist helping us here today. So Yancio is here on my side, just preparing the ingredients and things that you need to prepare a caipirinha. Hi, Hans. Thanks for joining. And in case you want to prepare a caipirinha with us, you, we can repeat this tour and then can make it again in another venue or in the same place so we can dip further since it's an antique store, cachaça store. There's Chita. Oi, Chita. Obrigado. Tá lá. Ó, aqui, Chita. This Chita, he works here for many years already and he always is here with us, like helping us out, helping Yancel for many years together. Aí eu tô fazendo uma transmissão para pessoas de várias partes do mundo aqui, Chita. Hi, Anne. Thanks for joining. And if you want to learn how to make a caipirinha, the, uh, I will ask you to follow me on social media. If you follow Rio Encantos Experiences, Rio, R-I-O, E, Encantos, E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S, Rio Encantos, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you will find a video on YouTube of me teaching you how to make caipirinha in my place. All right. Also, I can share with you, there is a book from organized by Poliana from Viari Travel, the agency uh, with who I work with. And Poliana, she uh, organized a travel a cookbook with all recipes from the partners and people in Brazil with whom she works with. And I'm, feature, I'm featured on that book, showing the recipe of the Brazilian national drink, Caipirinha. And uh, today I will teach you how to make it with Yonso here by my side. Thank you so much, Marian. Rio Encantos Experiences, that's exactly that. And know that from the tours you have there on my profile, uh, just need to follow me. Now you have a new app for Hey Go. Hi, John. Thanks for coming back. You have uh, on my profile on Hey Go, you have a new app now. So you have buttons here where you can follow. Just click on the screen and you have access to the chat, to the tip button. So you can support my work. You can support the work of other uh, people with whom I will be working with. I always try to bring someone, a local person, so we can have um, local people participating and enriching the experiences with their knowledge, with their expertise. Today, the Café do Bom and Cachaça da Boa is one of the venues, which is a coffee shop and a cachaça shop and a, an antique shop, it's a partner, a business partner from Long Date, with whom I've been working with to lead the Cachaça Tours. And what is the Cachaça Tours? The Cachaça Tours are cultural walking tours where uh, we walk through the historic center of Rio. And likewise, the coffee tour is the same thing, but we choose different streets of this historic center. And then we we'll visit old buildings such as these, to see the heritage sites of the historic center of Rio de Janeiro. So we'll be talking about architecture. We, we stop at nice venues to try different treats and drinks, Brazilian coffee, cachaça, special cachaça is not the, the one that you'll find in, in, find in any corner. A, uh, or a historic church, according to your taste as well, we can tailor experiences to your interests. Hi, Jim. Thanks for joining. Welcome. 
And then when we walked through the city center, a place where I was born here in Rio, where I live in Rio, we go finding the nice treasures, the hidden treasures of this part. The Carioca, uh, Rua da Carioca has stories around theater, live theater, movie theaters, and it's a cultural hub of the well, the, the, of the cultural center, city center. So across the street, you see a shop. It's an instrument shop, a musical instrument shop, because this street, Carioca Street, developed a tradition where the live theaters were established. So therefore, there are many live theaters going across, uh, around and throughout the streets until the square there at the end of this block. And this were the first live theaters of Brazil after the arrival of the royal family here. So the live instruments, the music instruments, there are many shops like these here because, and also of Cachaça, because here was the Bohemian part of the city. Now it's Lapa, but here still there are different parties. Now a, a little bit less because of COVID. And since this is the, the part of the city where the first live theaters, movie theaters, cultural centers developed, then it makes all sense to have music shops where the musicians performing at the theaters would buy their own instruments or put to sell the instruments they would create and therefore also the Brazilian drinks and the Cachaça National Drink. Thank you, Marion, so much for your help and support. So uh, this shop here is specialized in cachaça and the owner, Yancel, he uh, is one of the specialists who votes for the best cachaças of Brazil in that year. So I will be here today answering you questions that might spark your uh, curiosity. So just let me know, ask any questions you might have, because if I don't know, I'm going to uh, research more. And if it's something related to the cachaça making, which is very um, uh, specific, some things I already know, but others I can ask the specialist. So take advantage of the presence of the specialist, Yonso, who will be here today, who participates in the national uh, and international fairs of cachaça as well. Uh, and he will be able to answer many questions related to what cachaça is, what makes a good cachaça, and how to make a caipirinha. So for decades, he, had, he has been running uh, this uh, antique shop and coffee shop with his mother. Now her mother retired, and he took the business uh, to take care of that. So he will find nice uh, books very uh, old and also rare books that he has been collecting with his mother and family for decades. Also here, it's a place uh, I'm going to show you where you can have treats related to good coffee. So you won't find very good coffee and very good cachaça in the supermarkets of Brazil. Even though we produce those, the best ones will be in specialized shops. So this is important to know. And usually, the cachaças you find in your country, they are usually the very industrialized one, which is very cheap here, but very expensive in your country, and usually not the best. So I, that's why if you like Brazilian culture, if you like caipirinha, seeing one tour like this is a way to prepare yourself and know how to learn how to buy a good cachaça. Now, I'm sharing this painting with you here because the city center in the beginning, in, at the end of the 19th century, in the 20th century, it was the capital of Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. And the city center was the wealthy neighborhood where many poets, writers, artists, musicians, they would get together in cafes, and the cafes were at the example and fashion of French, France and Paris in the 1920s, was the place to be gathered and exchange ideas with other poets and artists wherever you were in the developing world. Now, 
here there are things written uh, about the cachaça, so you can come and you can learn about the culture of cachaça, which was developed as the Brazilian rum. And you can practice how to say it there wherever you are. Cachaça. Poets and writers. Na alegre fecunda colmeia, vinda do advento da república, from the republican area, they proceeded a large and very dynamic uh, life, creating their chronicles, their articles of their lives in the republic in the beginning of the 20th century. So the spirit of the literary cafes of its time is the place where the poets would come and gather. So many cafés were famous on that time, such as Café Paris, Paris Café, Rio Café, the Parrot Café, or Café Papagaio, the Victory Café, or Café Vitória, the Java Café, the Order Café, the Big Café, or Grande Café, among others. And with that, the Patisserie, or the uh, places where people sell the delicatessen and the sweets and treats such as the cakes that you see here that would stay on the history of literature in brazil at the beginning of the 20th century so here are a few great labels of cachaça i love many of these ones such as the volupia is a very very good one i love this one the Harmony Schnapps, Weber House. These are from families from the south of Brazil where they have a German influence. So the some of the first uh, utensils or objects that you use to uh, ferment and to make the cachaça, they were brought from the distilleries of Germany in, uh, I don't know, the, the in copper. They were made out of copper, so you make the, dis the distillation of the cachaça. Now, today we can tell you, according to your questions, we will go along with that in order to build up this experience. What's the difference between the colors of the cachaça, how they're aged? Uh, so you see some of them are gold, like these, right? Like whiskey, scotch. Uh, we have cachaças that are as good as the best whiskies whiskies in the world, and we have the silver cachaças as well. And uh, uh, and even though you see them silver and transparent like these, don't uh, don't think they are all the same throughout the world because they are not. They are you have thousands of labels only of cachaça. And they are a world on themselves to find out. It's saying nice. Thanks for joining. There is Yancel. Uh, Yancel, primeiro eu vou, mostrar, eu tô, vou deixar a cachaça mais para o final para como é que provocar o pessoal, né? So here is Yancel, the owner of Café do Bom and Cachaça da Boa. Pessoal, tá aí. And Yancel has just prepared all the ingredients to make the cachaça. So for those of you who are at home. In case you have a cachaça, what I think is less probable, but in case you have or a cachaça or a room, if you have a room, you won't be, be able to make a caipirinha, but at least you make something that can remember, and after our tour, you can buy a cachaça and make the real one. So here are the ingredients to make the cachaça that Yancel prepared for us. So he will prepare, he will show two different ways to make the caipirinhas with the cocktail mixer. And uh, what's what's the name of this thing again? Macerador. I forgot. Macerador yeah. in English is? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, sugar, white sugar. So our tour is about sugar, sugar cane, cachaça. Ice, what he took out of the fridge, the glass to make the dose, to measure the dose, lime, 
these utensils to cut everything. And of course, the cachaça. Muddler. Okay, thank you. All right, but I'm not going to show you the cachaça making now. I will leave this at the end. Um, and if you want to support us, to help us pay for the caipirinha that he will make, I appreciate if you can support us uh, tipping because this is also the way that we, um, as real tour guides here in the city, it's my profession. And it's, uh, it's nice that we have a platform that people can come participate for free and also that can contribute and collaborate with the work of tour guides around the world. And I, it's a little bit before lunchtime and I will drink a caipirinha. I will pay the caipirinha to support also his business. He's my partner. And I appreciate if you also can support my business and my work here at, as a tour guide in Rio Incomes. All right. So uh, after saying, asking you to pay me a caipirinha, I will get back to the antique shop and I will show you some nice art and rare stuff that you find here. Besides the very good cachaça labels. So if you have questions related on how to make it, what makes it different from one type to the other, how to buy it, where to buy it, what to eat and uh, with the cachaça or caipirinha drink, these are all questions that you can make. Please feel free to do it, okay? Now I'm going to share a few prints of prints from Jean-Baptiste Debré. Jean-Baptiste Debré, was an artist, a French artist, who came with the French mission to Brazil at the beginning of the 20th century, of the 19th century, sorry. And then he was, he came with the French mission running away from the persecutions of Napoleon. And he did a series of watercolors when he went back to uh, to Paris. Here he was doing the, the drafts. And then he did this book called The Voyage Picturesque to the History of Brazil. Watercolors and drawings uh, that were, as you see here, some rare ones. Thank you, Dee, for paying the caipirinha. Thank you so much. Hi, Bernie. Hello. Welcome to join. We are showing the prints of the prints of the artist Jean-Baptiste Debré from France, who was here documenting the lives of the colony in the beginning of the 19th century, by the time when many scientists and artists arrived from Europe, running away from Napoleon Bonaparte, who was taking over France and, and different countries in Europe. So the, royal, the Portuguese royal family received the French mission with these artists and scientists to come here, document the lives of people in the colony. And one specific one that I want to share is this one. So how is our history of cachaça related to slavery and to the sugarcane plantations? So the cachaça distilled rum uh, of Brazil, uh, spirit, is made out of, uh, it's a little bit hard to focus here, but I'm getting close to try and show you. So this is showing a sugar mill in the 20th century in Brazil. So you see the relation of if the sugar cane plantations, where the sugar cane juice is prepared and distilled to make the cachaça, our national spirit. So you see uh, sugar mills and also the plantation farms of coffee. And the cachaça, there is a history behind the history of cachaça. So people say that preparing the, collecting the sugar cane, not the sugar cane, the cane plants to make the sugar cane, all the, the leftovers of the cane they were set aside and given to the calves. Calves, is that the way to say the, the plural of cow? So the leftovers were given to the calves. And with that, 
the workers of the sugar mills, they were noticing that the calves were getting kind of dizzy, drooling, drunk, a little bit uh, lazy or relaxed. So they found out that that fermented leftover of the sugar cane, of the canes, would uh, turn to be a spirit, alcoholic spirit. And then they developed it, started little by little to develop the techniques to produce the, that spirit, the alcoholic drink, which led to the cachaça. And today with many techniques, the cachaça became something really sophisticated. Hi, Emily. Hey, Emily, tudo bom? Valeu por chegar. Bem-vindas. Bem-vindas a todos. How is the connection? It seems that here on the bottom of the shop, the, the connection is dropping a little. And I don't know if that is pixelating for you. So I need to come here to the... To the, to the front again to see if the, the signal will get better. Ah, 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 legal. Aqui a conexão está caindo um pouco ali, o sinal. Aí eu tive que sair um pouco dali. Eu acho que vai chegando para o fundo, aí vai tendo o sinal de internet, vai ficando um pouco é, da operadora. Ah, vou deixar para a próxima, porque aí para eu conectar aqui fica meio... So how is the is the image pixelated there? Or is it good? Café do bom, cachaça da boa. So in case you want to take a postcard, here is the name of the place. Com cachaça você pode tudo. With cachaça, you can do it all. Cachaça you can put on the fridge. Yes. Hi Mimi, thanks for joining. Yes, you can. So, how is the quality? Is this pixelated from your side or is it good? Please let me know. Let's take a postcard here. Is the image good there for a postcard? Is the signal good? I move it to the entrance of the shop where usually... Oh, nice. Thanks, D. Usually the signal at the at the bottom of the shop can get a little pixelated. So that's why I pay very careful attention to that. Hi, Luigi. Ciao. Grazie mille. Bienvenuto. On postcard, you can take here of the antique shop and the cachaça shop. Hi, Dolly. Thanks for joining. Please picture your postcard. We are the, the ciao, Luigi, at cachaça. Café do Bom and Cachaça da Boa. Now, another composition here of the Café do Bom and Cachaça da Boa, where I can picture the place where Ianso is preparing, had prepared all the ingredients to our caipirinha making. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here present with me. Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio. Thank you, D, for paying the caipirinha for me, and Ianso is going to prepare it. Thanks, Marion, for opening up the opportunity, supporting my work here. And thank you all for your attention and presence in the venue. Please let me know from the things I share if you want me to go slowly at a certain point to take uh, postcards or either to see something in particular. You just let me know, Kelly. Don't move that fast. Okay, Ali, please go slowly. Okay, Ali, please stop there. Get back a little, please. I want to show these or that. I want to see these or that. And I'm going to make that especially for you, okay? We are here together so we can exchange culture. You can learn about different cultures as well. And I would like to invite you for another postcard. Look at this that um uh, i don't know how do you call that model there which is a doll to put clothes that is dressed up in uh, summer garments mannequin ah thanks so there is a nice postcard with two mannequins a woman and a another person there so you can take another postcard here 
And let's continue going around the shop. Soon I'm gonna, I already earned a caipirinha, so Yancel is gonna make one. I like to go along with your questions and comments and requests, because I, I like to make it and tailor it specifically to your interest. So please, your participation can be developed by clicking on the screen and showing your chat box so you can participate and ask your questions. Now, look, I've done tours at the beach in Copacabana Beach, like last week I did it. We are in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm gonna prepare for you a tour in the Botanical Garden of Rio and in other gardens as well. So we can make a photo tour there, like Sayuri did in Salvador. We are working in partnership, me and other guides from South America, to align plans and provide you a nice programming that can represent our works in South America and show you how diverse we are. And we uh, here speak Portuguese, and there in other countries of South America, people who speak Spanish. And we want to show you how we are connected and how we are uh, points in common that we have or different cultural aspects. So we will be organizing these tours on Hego together, our guides in South America, us women working together to offer you nice programming on Hego more and more cachaça labels that you will find here. So when you come to Rio, you can take with me a walking tour, cultural, living a cultural experience at Rio Encantos, doing a cultural walking tour of café, special coffee, or cachaça. And this is one of the venues where I will bring you to see the inspiration and try the cachaças. What we do, you can take another postcard here. Look, this is great. When you come here, you walk in the historic center. I will let you know about the histories of theater, of the live theater, of the movie theaters, of the cultural and literature in Rio de Janeiro. And we'll stop at this first coffee uh, or cachaça shop to sip and try the cachaças. The silver cachaça, which is uh, distilled and maintained in, uh, like, how can I say, metallic or metal uh, utensils, and when they are distilled. Or if you want an aged cachaça, how do you make a cachaça which is gold or has a gold color? Do you know? How do you make them? How do you age a liquor, a hard liquor, or a drink to create this, the difference between the silver and the, and the gold one? Here's the question. What makes the difference between one color and no color when you are thinking about Oh, Mimi, thanks for your participation. Thank you so much. Exactly. So when you use wood barrels of different trees, many and the most popular ones are the oak trees. But here in Brazil, more and more specialists are trying and experiment, experimenting Brazilian wood trees so you can have different flavors, typically from Brazil. You create these wood barrels, you get the silver cachaça, and you age it in the wood barrels so you can get the scents and the flavors of that specific barrel. So the cachaça will have different alcoholic uh, grad graduations, gradations, such as this one of 42% or 40% and so on until you have an aguardente, which is beyond cachaça, it's stronger. So, like I said, you can find books and we can, and art, rare books. And let me see if I can find another postcard so we can go make a caipirinha since I already earned a caipirinha here from the 
and Marian. So let's make another postcard here and go to our caipirinha making with Ianso. Nice, let's go. So the first live theaters were created by the imperial family, the royal family, after they arrived here in 1808. So the, they used the labor force of uh, enslaved people, enslaved Africans in the region, either in the sugarcane plantations and also on the construction of the city itself. And this is the cultural hub where the wealthy neighborhood started to develop until the beginning of the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. E also, vamos fazer capirinha? Eba, valeu! So he's already there, right on the, his position to help us out with the caipirinha making. There you go. Just to remember the ingredients of caipirinha, silver cachaça, a good specialist, someone who knows how to make it, Yanso, the owner of Café do Boa Cachaça da Boa. Lines, the utensils to cut it. Cachaça cup shot or one shot. Cachaça cup to drink. Of course, the sugar, ice, and cocktail mixer with the that thing there. Okay, Yanso. Okay, speak in Portuguese, translating in English, okay? Okay, <laughs> I will be helping with the translation of words, but if you want to try, se você quiser arriscar. No, my English is bad. Uh, vou tirar a máscara um pouquinho, tá? Para poder falar um pouquinho melhor. Tá ok. okay. Obrigada, Ianso. Vamos lá. Uh, Thanks, Bipi, for joining. Eu trouxe aqui somente do estado do Rio de Janeiro, uh, para representar o nosso estado, mas aqui a gente trabalha com cachaças do Brasil todo. So here is cachaças from Rio de Janeiro to represent Rio de Janeiro state, but they actually and do work with cachaças from all over Brazil here. Okay. Então, aqui nós temos a coquetelera e um macerador. So the cocktail maker and mas, the muddler. Mas, porém, a caipirinha é um drink que se faz montado. Não se faz em coqueteleira, mas ah. para demonstrar que ó, certas pessoas fazem na coqueteleira. So he said that is caipirinha is mostly uh, it was invented to be a mounted or, or a, how can I say assembled drink instead of mix it on a cocktail maker. But mostly people on the streets and different places they will be doing and using the cocktail maker, even though it's uh, an assembled drink. So the first thing, um bom limão. choose a very good lime, fresh, green, tá. hard. Um bom limão. Esse é o limão Tahiti, que é o limão Tahiti tradicional. lime, traditional lime. Caliza, bem verdinho, é um bom limão. It's a not very rough skin. It's a good lime, fresh, hard, and good. Oh, minha mão. Não, é Mas tá limpinha até. Tá. <laughs> é, ok. Uh, a primeira coisa que a gente vai fazer é partir as duas pontas do limão. So they will remove those two parts of the lime to make it also easier to smash it and squeeze it slightly on the cocktail maker. Vamos colocar ele em pé. Uh -huh. Nós vamos partir ele ao meio. So cut in half. Ok. Nós vamos pegar somente a metade do limão. So get the half of the lime. Nós vamos fazer um corte deitado. Make another cut in the other half. And another one in the horizontal position. Now you can take another postcard as well of Yonso making that. E como eu falei, como é um caipirinha, é um drink montado, nós vamos começar a montar o nosso drink. So they start, he will start to assemble. Assemble, am I saying the right word? Assembling the drink. Putting the line with the skin to the lower, to the bottom of the glass. Okay. Açúcar. The sugar. Uma medida que seriam duas colheres de chá de açúcar. Mas fica sempre ao gosto da pessoa. The sugar is uh, your own taste, but he's going to use two spoons of, of sugar. Ok. 
Aqui a gente vai colocar uma colher bem cheia de sobremesa. So he would put one uh, full spoon dessert full spoon. Ok. Nós vamos pegar o macerador e a gente não pode ficar okay. batendo. Ok. Porque you can't não... really hit the, the line many times because it can get bitter because of the white part of the line. So you can't, you just need to uh, softly and gently uh, squeeze it. Uma ou duas vezes é o suficiente, porque o limão está virado para cima. Once or twice is enough, because the line is already set to the higher, to the upper part. So like he's doing gently, okay? Suficiente. Nice. Okay. Now you can also take another postcard, aqueles tiram um print da tela, with the cachaça label, so you can have an idea of a good cachaça, and the lime there being made. Pode, pode meter a mão. Okay, então, Obrigada. Então, a gente vai colocar o gelo. He will put the ice. Hi, Helena. Thanks for joining. We're making the cachaça, caipirinha with cachaça. Você vai colocar... 50 ml ou 60 ml de cachaça. 50 milliliters or 60 milliliters of cachaça, which is one of those shots there. Aqui nós temos cachaças um pouquinho mais fortes e um pouquinho mais suaves. You have vou, stronger cachaças ou a, a magnífica. Lighter. A magnífica é uma cachaça de vassouras, do estado de Janeiro. It's a tem... cachaça from vassouras, uh, the city, a city from Rio de Janeiro, where the plantation farms of coffee plantation farms and mills were located. And it's alcoholic, uh, how to say that, alcoholic gradation is 40%. So, look at this nice postcard that you can make here as well. So, remember that cachaça, the cachaça's alcoholic gradation goes from 38 to 48 uh, alcoholic gradation. Am I saying it right, alcoholic gradation? Because there was another way to say it, but I forgot. Content. Now look at this nice postcard that you can make here as well with the ingredients together. And so you can remember the ingredients and how to make it. So he put more okay. ice. So he gets a, a, a spoon that it, with a longer neck and you mix. Look how beautiful this postcard can be. The name there, Cachaça. And now I, let's take another postcard with Yance preparing it. Yance, tira a máscara aí para o pessoal tirar um print seu aí, ó. Oh, he's taking the mask. Now you have a beautiful print of Yonso making a cachaça. Please take a print of Yonso and send to me here because I think he will appreciate if later I send him this print with the name of the Café do Bom Cachaça da Boa through WhatsApp. So please send that to him. There you go. Thank you. Obrigada, Yonso, pela cachaça. <laughs> Now I have, he said, now you have to taste to see if it's really good. How come it won't be good made by the specialists here in Brazil? Really, Marion? Oh, it's also mine, my favorite drink. So let's see. Ah, I'm going to put this, the gimbal here, so I can focus on my cachaça. And let me get this back, nice background so I can test the cachaça with the beautiful background here. Saúde, like we say here. Saúde, health. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Summer drink. It's a drink for the Brazilian summer. Para o verão brasileiro. Uh, cheers, D. Thank you so much. We arrived at the end of our tour, and I will appreciate the drink that Dee and, and Marian and all of you uh, helped me or uh, are present here. So I'm going to appreciate this drink now and be here with my friend Yansel, talking a little bit with him. 
getting ready for my afternoon, which today in the afternoon we'll have a barbecue. So I'm gonna show you a little bit on how to make a Brazilian barbecue with friends. And I will broadcast at 6.15 Brazilian time. And I, let me see, in about seven hours, get back to Hey Go, come to, to my place, let's have a barbecue. I'm gonna live stream a barbecue, Brazilian barbecue for you, okay? So just come by and goodbye. Thank you, thank you all. Remember to follow me. Saúde. Follow me at Rio Encantos Experiences. Follow other guides also from Rio, from Brazil, and from Latin America. Goodbye. Cheers.